my son-in-law. Wow. Oh, that is <laughs> terrific. Jenny, yeah, this trip, is this all on you? Uh, unfortunately, yes. <laughs> Well, watch out for those catfish, you know. Oh, yeah, right. Yeah, I heard about that. Um, we're going to spin the wheel and see if we can give you, Denny, a trip. How about that? Okay, Denny, get ready. It's the modern, the modern Honolulu in Hawaii. Right. Seven days, six nights in a one-bedroom oceanfront suite. It includes a sunset cocktail cruise for two. Is that all you can drink cocktail? <laughs> oh, my gosh, I would love a sunset cocktail cruise for two. <laughs> Round trip airfare courtesy of Orbitz. It's a prize valued at $12,000. Big bucks. Good luck. All right, Denny, I believe in you. Here we go. On yesterday's right. show, we talked with actor Ryan Filippi. On what soap opera did we say Ryan appeared? One Life to Live. You're going to live. Seven days and six nights of the modern Honolulu. Definitely combining style and sophistication. Every element is original, authentic, or custom designed to enhance the experience. Sweeping vistas of the Pacific Ocean and city skylines around the hotel's 353 guest rooms and suites. The modern Honolulu's progressive luxury is as refined as it is relaxed. The price is valued at approximately $12,000. Charlie's were available. Oh, absolutely. Let's we, go. We love a Sunset Cruise. <laughs> now you uh, get to help make the day of a lucky member of our studio audience who will receive eight place settings of American made fine china from Lennox valued at more than $500. So please pick a number between 1 and 235. 23. Oh, there we go. Hey, hey. Congratulations on the wife. Congratulations, young lady. Everybody stay right there. We come back. Performance by Echo Smith from Once Upon a Time, Lana Maria, and Sunny Smith, Jason Bill. And uh, from the new series, Secrets and Lies, Juliet Lewis will be here. Hey! And we will begin a week of healthy and hearty cooking with Chef Danielle Balloon. We're so lucky to have him. So, so we're going to have a week of cooking? Healthy, healthy cooking, yeah. Good, we can eat for healthy, a week. Hearty. Healthy and hearty cooking. Yeah, like winter. You know, warm. typically you wouldn't put those two words together. It's usually hearty or healthy. But Gelman, you yeah. have really... Oh. We've turned it up in here. Yeah. He's feeding us. That's another thing. Let's not just carry it away. Let's, let's see if he actually does feed us. You're feeding us, We're happy with you. Now, he's a talented actor who stops at nothing to keep audiences laughing. Please welcome the always funny Jason Biggs. <laughs> Cage. I got nothing. No, that was... <laughs> now, now, you're, you're a New Yorker. 
And but with all this cold, have you been taking the subway everywhere? Are you yeah, I've been uh, I've been taking the train. Um, I uh, although it's kind of a far walk. We live kind of by the river, which by the way is now like a giant ice cube. Yeah, ice which is crazy. Yeah, mm -hmm. it's nuts. we like it's like we live in Greenland or something. And but I'll walk, and it's a tough couple of blocks to get to the train. But once I get down there, I'm very comfortable. Yeah, yeah and I'm like fully. I mean, I've got. You know, the it's whole... kind of amazing the subway right now because people are so bundled up yeah. that it's like it's your own you're in your own sort of ecosystem. Yeah, right there. you're kind of you're in your own cocoon, and then if yeah. you add the sort of the music to the mix where you really can't hear a thing, I mean, yeah, yeah I'm probably gonna get hit by a train at some point. No, God. Um, <laughs> How's your baby? Uh, the baby is, speaking of getting hit by a train, I'm like, yeah, you know, right. not much sleep. But he's terrific. He's He turned one uh, about a week and a half ago. Oh, yeah, there he is. There's there's Elmo Elmo cake. Cake. Yep, that's his Elmo cake. And uh, that's a, it was a rum cake. It was a rum cake. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, yeah, he turned one. It's a big, big yeah, birthday. That's right. And, um, yeah, so he went, it was funny, he went right for the nose. He's got great aim, this kid. He knew, like, exactly, he saw the whole cake, and he literally just went, boom, right in Elmo's nose. And, um, and that was the, the yeah, the, that was but, the cleanest he was all day. Being, being one year, one, one year old, the, the first birthday, it's big, but do you, did you have a big party? Because I don't know if they really necessarily remember. Yeah, no, the key is to just have enough props around him, right. and so that when you take the pictures that you show him in 18 years, you go, look at this amazing party we had for you. So we had the cake, we had some balloons. Right. And we had like a couple of baby dolls around that looked like real babies. We don't like him. We don't like. Right. We don't like him to have friends yet. We're, we, no. we want him to kind of just be obsessed with mommy and daddy at this point. Yeah. Yeah. In the, in the, in the yeah, yeah. So we, we, it was actually really cool. This wonderful company who I can't plug because I forget their name, but they came and they brought this great little ball pit to the apartment, and they do it here in the city for you know, city apartments, you know, it's a different kind of city living si here. City size. City size right. ball pits. And, um, and it was great. And uh, I think my wife probably had more fun in it than he did, but he still enjoyed it. It was good fun. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, well. well She's got a glass of wine in the ball pit. She's like, this is incredible. Yeah. <laughs> we had to cut him off. He had had like four pieces of the rum cake, so he was like... <laughs> And uh, when we come back, we're going to find out why Jason's being really arrogant lately. So stay right there. More with Jason Did you see? Still ahead on live, a performance by Echo Smith. And from Once Upon a Time, Lana Faria. on Broadway. Yes. And uh, so what's the show about? I know it's a it's a um, an updated version, a remake. Well, it's, uh, it yeah, it's a, a, a revival. Revival. Yeah, Thank it's you. a, it's a revival of a play that was done uh, in 1989-90 and it won the Tony and the Pulitzer mm -hmm. and and um, it was very well received then and it, this is the first revival that is being done in New York since then and since the playwright passed away in 2005. So it's kind of a big deal and it's an important play and uh, Elizabeth Moss is playing the titular character of Heidi and it's, you know, it's uh, kind of a, a commentary on uh, feminism, I guess, is one of the big themes, but there's so much more to it than that and it's, um, it's uh, a great cast and yeah, we started previews just the other night and I'm, I'm you know, just now kind of settling down and, and not pooping my pants as much at night. <laughs> So you, so you do get nervous. You oh yeah, 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 yeah. No, I got uh, first in the first night, first dress rehearsal. I I forgot my, my one of my lines, and it was it was, you know, it feels like the world is ending. Right. Uh, clearly, it's just a line in a play. <laughs> but when you're sitting there and you're like, oh my god, I think I'm just gonna. Is there a hole I can crawl into? And um, but it was uh, yeah, sweat starts pouring that you can hear like a ticking clock, like oh, a tick. Boy. So even though you've done Broadway before, you still have this feeling because I find that there's like two kinds of people: people that suffer from stage fright and people that don't. And, and talented people. No. Right. <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah. No, I <laughs> I am in the former uh, category. No, it's a, but you know what? It's it's fun. I mean, that's I think any stage actor will tell you that that's part of the excitement is is the nerves. Uh, 
but you know for the most part you know people are able to control them and fight their way through it and sometimes listen something you know sometimes it happens and the other night it happened for me and you know it's not gonna happen again. Yeah. but never again never will it happen again. Never again. Game time, you'll be on. Don't That's worry. Right. That's right. I don't trust a perfect dress rehearsal. Yeah. 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 You're not a practice player. You're game time. That's, That's right. right. That's right. Yeah. That's, That's right. right. Don't That's mess right. it up, kid. Thank you. All right, here we go. The show is the Heidi Chronicles. It opens on Broadway March 19th at the New York Box Theater. Make sure you go check out the Jason Bates, everybody. Monday on Live from the series The Following, Kevin Aiken. You dreamt of a kitchen to cook. She plays Regina Mills, the evil queen on ABC's hit show, Once Upon a Time. Please welcome the lovely Lana Perea. Yes. I love that name. Ana Maria Parilla. That's a great name. Thank you. I didn't yeah. know your middle name was Maria. It is, yes. And so is your producer Donna's middle name is Maria. Donna. Anybody else? No. Okay. Yeah. There's one. Great. We're all grabbing a drink after. Okay. Right. Yeah. All the Marias. Man, and we, we got to say, you look incredible. The married life of the green with you. Congratulations. Thank you. Congratulations. Now, Okay, no one has seen this photo outside of my family, so oh. this is a big gift. Oh, thank and you. we're really excited. And look so how happy. It's beautiful. Now, we know you had a, like a bachelorette party. You rented out with my Liberace's <laughs> old house. How was that? Yes, it was a lot of fun. That's right, we talked about it last time. Oh, yeah. Um, I have not gone back. Oh. However, if anyone's interested, it's a lot of fun to take your girlfriends and just get away and sit by a pool. So did you, you got married, obviously, that didn't look like Brooklyn. I'm assuming that was Canada. <laughs> the whole thing's a backdrop. We got right. married on stage. Right. Right. Um, that is in Canada, yeah. yes. We got married on the Sunshine Coast. Oh. In this nice. place called the Secret Cove. Oh, my which gosh. Which is super, super rustic and... Um, believe it or not, I, am a, I love nature, and uh, being a city girl, people are always like, how do you survive up there? Like, it's, I love nature, and um, I love Canada, and it's so beautiful, and I thought, why not bring Brooklyn to Canada? They've never seen it. They've never been there. <laughs> right. My right. family has no idea what my life is like up there. Yeah, sure. Um, and so we brought everyone up, and they had the time of their lives. It was a three-day wedding weekend. So great. Isn't that great oh, when you can do that and give not just like a beautiful wedding, but your family like a nice trip, like a beautiful vacation. That's you know, great. It was really fun and, and it was it was beautiful and spiritual and everyone bonded. And um, I, I've never seen more smiles in my life. I mean, yeah. I, I was tears running down my face every and day, every moment. And you married you married four guys, actually. Yes. <laughs> Lucky me? Yeah. Um, yes, I have three stepsons. Oh, that's great. Oh my gosh, that's terrific. It that's is awesome. awesome. They are they are the light of my life. All all of them, uh, all four of them. Um, Matthew is 13, Patrick is 15, and Jack is 18. So I have three teenage boys. Socks all over the house. Yeah. <laughs> Don't pick up those yeah. socks. No. <laughs> <laughs> Tuesday on live from the new film Chappie, Sigourney Weaver.
Rise and Rise, Juliet Lewis. Plus, the following's Kevin Bacon has a following where he lives. Guy would just kind of walk up and down the street and challenge you to... Like I'm, what? Like, how about six degrees of me, Kevin yeah, Bacon? Exactly. <laughs> Is that a root beer? Two? I got you one. Thought you could use a break. A break from what? Dead end after dead end? A sorcerer or author, whatever he wants to be called. Doesn't want to be found. It's only been a few weeks. Exactly, and I've conquered entire realms in less time. Is she misunderstood or is she really evil? I like to say she's misunderstood. Right. I'm um, clearly misunderstood because we've seen so many different colors of her. So she's not just evil. She's troubled and struggles with a lot. Um, she's complex. That's what I always say. Mm. She's but complex. She, but, it, but now she's kind of turning into an unexpected hero, too. Yes, she has. And I, I truly believe that happened because of her son. She, she was afraid she was going to lose her son. And so that was really the catalyst for her turning good. I love the whole idea of this show, really, because it's like, what are, what are the, it's a modern day, like, these people are trapped in modern day society, and there's, and they're fairy tale characters. Yes, and it's, it's funny, because we don't really see them, although there was one episode, we saw Regina as the evil queen in present time, Storybrooke, right. um, but she was all, she was under a curse, everyone mm -hmm. was under the spell. Um, but we only see them in that garb when we do the flashbacks. Mm. So, but it, it's fascinating because it, they're more human, they're more relatable in this yeah. present time. And speaking of, as you call it, garb, but the costumes on this show are really incredible. Aren't they? But do you enjoy that part of it? Oh my Dressing God. Dressing up? I mean, I love look at it. that. that look is... at that. That's my favorite. Okay, no, that's my favorite. I'll be honest with no, you. That picture, I'm scared of you, but I'm kind of crazily attracted to you at the same time. <laughs> Thank you. So I should have called you to borrow an Academy Awards dress. <laughs> yeah, they're so elaborate and so stunning. And it's funny because I watched, um, which you'll see this Sunday, um, there's a clip, I, I believe before the show we do a one hour sort of recap, um, and you'll see a clip of my audition piece. And I was watching it, because I had to prove it, I was watching it, and I was like, oh my God, it's so different than the actual final product, what we saw um, on the show. And, and it's really, and that I, I give credit to, to Eduardo for the costumes, because once you put on those costumes, it transforms you. Mm. I didn't have that costume in the, in the audition, yeah. but on film I had it, and it just brings the character to life. So I love those costumes. Wow. It's, it's like, take care of